Hello everyone, this is Jozef Nagy here and welcome to this video and I'm very very excited to bring you this announcement. The open form journal is now open for business. So maybe you already saw uh, my posts or some posts on LinkedIn about this, but as of yesterday, the open form journal is open for publications and I, we announced a call for papers and I also want to um, inform you about this possibility. So the motivation behind the open form journal is that you want to have an online e-journal uh, re re which concentrates on op open form related topics. The initiative is coming from the technical committee of documentation and tutorials of the uh, governance system of open form and I am the chair of this technical committee and it is fully backed and supported by the steering committee and the open form governance system and open C CFD is um, actively involved in this initiative and we have an international board of editors um, from the entire open form community so Andrew Heather, Hakan Nielsen, Holger Marshall, Herv Jasak, Johan Rönnby myself, Miguel Nobrega and Philip Cardiff. I hope that you recognize some of those names. Then, um, so the, the original motivation came from the 11th Open Form Workshop where Miguel Nobrega and Herb Yasak initiated a Springer book. You were able to submit manuscripts and the Springer book was released in January 2019. And as of October 2020, there were 72,000 downloads of that Springer book. So there is a clear need for open form related publications. And we now did uh, some small announcements previously about the open form journal so you could subscribe to a newsletter. And we already had approximately 600 subscribers. So this journal is a missing entity in open form related initiatives. For, uh, like the conference, the open form conference, the open form workshop, or even national user meetings, or my YouTube channel and my competitions, but the journal is indeed missing. And on this silly drawing, I would like to show you our motivation here. So if you go to the left hand side, you have conferences on physics, on multiphase physics or turbulence modeling and so on. But you have the open form workshop and the conference. And in the conferences where you, fit, um, where you focus on physics, you run your simulations in open form, but you only talk about the physical results. If you are going to a workshop or the open form conference, then you may talk about physics, but you can also concentrate on open form related topics. Now, if we shift to the right hand side, there are uh, physics related journals on multiphase physics or, or whatever. But now there is the possibility to focus on your open form specific topics. And it is not a competition. So it's not a question why should I publish here where I can publish in a high impact uh, journal. Please publish in your high impact journal. But in, in the open form journal, you can have an, a second paper which supplies information to that other paper that you submit to the journal. It is a supplementary um, supporting paper that you can submit here in addition to a paper that you submit to a high impact journal. Now regarding the scope of the open form journal publishes original peer reviewed papers related to the open form co computational library. Now peer reviewed is very important because we use a double blind reviews um, approach. So the authors don't know anything about the reviewers and the reviewers don't know anything about the authors. This is to avoid any kind of conflict of or interest between um, uh, reviewers and authors. And the focus in our um, journal is first 
the reproducibility of the results and second, the benefit for the open form community. I'm going to talk in a bit more detail in the next slide uh, on these two topics, but I want to mention that the key points of this journal is that it is free to publish. So you don't have to pay money in order to publish here and also free to access. So you can also download the, the, the material without having to pay for it. And we will also have an associated discussion forum for each publication so people can ask authors and uh, authors can then answer those questions. And we will also uh, allow a storage for supplementary information where you can upload your source code, your case dictionaries, validation data, even experimental data if you have the rights to do so. So, and of course, nothing is for free in real life. We have to pay for storage and small uh, expense. We do have some small expenses. So we aim for two journal sponsors per year. So if you're interested, just contact us. Good. So we plan one issue per year and papers after acceptance are immediately added to the to the issue so you don't have to wait until the end of the year to to see your paper and we will have three major sections full papers technical notes and review papers that in the full papers you can describe a new solver development or verification and validation material and this is uh, very interesting for both academia and industry because you can, if, if you're from academia, you can show your source code, your validation results, and then uh, provide your material to your manuscripts. If you're from the industry and you want to show your development, your validation, verification and validation data, then you can do so as a full paper. Now in the full paper section, it will be mandatory to supply material um, in order to show reproducibility of your results. We will have technical notes, which are shorter publications for new features of OpenFOAM for the benefit of the community. Here, uh, supplementary data is not mandatory, but very, very encouraged. And it will also help the impact of your paper. But if you can show that, uh, and the editors and the reviewers can see that um, your work is reproducible already from the manuscript level, then you don't have to, uh, su uh, to upload supplementary material for a technical note. Same is true for the review papers. Review papers uh, uh, concentrate on critical analysis of existing open form tools. And yes, we will have an ISSN number and DOI, and we will also apply for an impact factor, but for that, the journal has to run for a while. Okay, so authors retain the copyright, so we don't want to claim the copyright. It's yours if you are submitting something and the publications will be under the license, uh, the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International License, except any code snippets in the manuscripts as well as source code uh, that you upload a supplementary material because those are of course still under GPL. And at the OpenFOAM workshop, at the, sorry, at eight OpenFOAM conference, uh, the, uh, the journal was announced and we sent out a call for papers, for full papers, technical notes and review papers. So, uh, so if you are interested, just go to journal.openfoam.com and please register there. And then you are very welcome to submit any kind of paper. Now, if I just go to journal.openform.com, this is what you will see. Currently, there is only the editorial from me and Miguel Nobrega. And so please register here, uh, fill in your name, and please also consider applying as a reviewer uh, because we will need reviewers here. And then once you registered, you can just log in and then you can access the publications. Currently it's one editorial, but with time we 
we we are sure that there are going to be great publications so please check out the homepage about the journal and also uh, the author's information and please consider uh, submitting an academic uh, work uh, or, or your publication from academia or industry both are very very welcome so this is what I wanted to show you here. I hope that you like this initiative and that you consider something submitting. With that, I would like to thank you for watching and listening and I hope to see you next time.